Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to open one of these Supra key lock boxes because without knowing this, you can't sell real estate. So let's first just go over what this box does, what it looks like. So the first thing you'll notice is this is the shackle. So this is what you will have to be able to open if you have a listing, if you're going to sell a house, right? And you want to attach this to the door handle or a railing or anything, you have to know how to open this. So we'll talk about that. And then basically at the bottom, you have this uh, black box here. That's what's going to come out. And then from there, you'll will get the key uh, the other thing to notice is there is a serial number here that will be important when you're let's say setting up your listing on the mls you're gonna have to pull like this number so it recognizes the house with the lockbox so these are like the main parts of uh of this lockbox and actually there's also this slide so when you're gonna open the lockbox and you push you you hear that you push up the black box then there should be a light here that will be blinking and so that's basically connecting the lock box with your phone uh, and it does that through bluetooth right so it'll do that so that way you can open the lock box so the first step to be able to open the lock box is to download the supra e-key app and you will get instructions from your local association or perhaps your broker depending on where you live and what the process is like but you will get instructions on, on how to do this one thing that is important is when you get uh, your credentials and information to do this you're gonna get a pin number that you have to save a pro tip that i have is on my phone on the notes app or wherever you want to store it i have all the passwords and important information uh, that pertain to my real estate business right so and this would be one of those things because you know obviously if you're always showing homes and you're always opening these lock boxes you'll remember your pin but it's possible that you might forget so if you do it's always good to have it stored and what better place to do that than your phone so make sure you save that pin number the other thing that's important important is to make sure that you're always updating this app now i don't know that you have to update it every single morning but you know if you're maybe you haven't shown homes in a while or you know whatever the reason is make sure that if or if you're gonna go show like tons of homes make sure that when you're connected you know on wi-fi in your home or anywhere just open the app and and do the latest update so that way you don't have any issues another thing that's important is to make sure that you have your bluetooth turned on your phone when you're trying to open the lockbox now why is using this lockbox very important well basically when you open the lockbox say you're showing a home right the listing agent will be able to see who opened the lockbox at uh, what time and so that's important uh, you can also send feedback requests so once someone opens the lockbox they show the house you close the lockbox you know head your way you'll get a, a message or email so that you can give feedback so that's something that you can also set up now let's take a look at how you can open the lockbox using the app all right so here we are so another pro tip that i will give you is as you can see here on this uh, box, I have real estate. So when you when I open it, I can see all the apps that are pertinent to my real estate business, or at least, you know, the majority. And so one of them, as you can see in the bottom middle row here, is the Supra, Supra Iki. So when I click there, you're going to have a couple options, right? So the most important ones, the ones that we'll focus today are the bottom of the screen, you'll see where it says open shackle and obtain key. Also, if we look at the bottom menu, you see there's like a flashlight. So if I push that one, well, you can't see this, but if you click on the flashlight uh, that'll automatically uh, turn the flashlight on your phone and then next to it you have the update so as you can see at the top here there's an updating so this is what i was saying that you should try to do you know often i don't know that you have to do it every morning but if you do that's great like you make that part of you uh, of your routine and then you have on the last one you have more so there's you know some settings profile my keys and there's some other things but for the purposes of today what i want to show you is um if you do on the uh, if you click on the obtain key and then you'll see here that it's asking for the pin code so i'm going to add that and as soon as i click on that i should have also pressed down here and then um, you will see that now it's saying opening the key box and then you hear that success button or sound and then you push here and then the lock box comes out so when the lock box the black part of the box comes out then you see that you know you can put a, a key inside so usually you, you have the key with like a key ring right so you can put it in here there's a little sign here in the back that says like you know don't put it don't put the key on that side because if you if you put it here in the back and you push it up it can get stuck right so that's something that i've seen in the past the other thing too is uh you know make sure that you don't get a key ring that's too big or cumbersome because if you put it here and it kind of sticks out when you go to close it it can also get stuck so i, I know this is not like rocket science or anything like that but i've seen all of these scenarios happen in the past so i'm just trying to help you out you know when you're a new realtor and you're trying to figure all these things out you know this is one thing you don't want it to be an issue because 
because you know there's other things you gotta worry about <laughs> like you know writing offers negotiating all that fun stuff so my goal is to make this really simple so once you have the key in here all you do is you just uh, push it push it up and then that's pretty much it uh one more time i'll show you so the first thing you want to do is um push on the obtain key and then first you'll push on this black key, uh part of the box here then put your code and then you hear that beep it says opening the key box success you push up and then automatically that comes down pretty simple right so now i want to show you how you can open uh the shackle which is this top part of the box so that what you're gonna do is instead of uh clicking on the obtain key you're gonna hit on the open shackle and then it's gonna ask you a couple questions so the first one is what what's the shackle code so the shackle code is like the password for the lockbox so every lockbox is gonna have a different shackle code and then serial number as we discussed earlier so for this one it's 87 so i'm gonna put the uh, shackle code in here and then it asks you for a reason so are we adding a new listing removing from a listing relocating from the same listing or none of the above so i'll do none of the above and then you have to push down on the box here so it connects through bluetooth and then i hit begin and then it's you know as you can see it says opening the shackle and then all i do is push down and then it comes out and then you figure out where you want to put it and then you you know hook it up there so you know it's not rocket science but if you've never done it or you don't know then you know someone has to show you right and so i remember when i became an agent i took one of these lock boxes home and just play with it and practice so i could feel comfortable so that when i went to show my first property this wasn't a a big deal so let me know what questions you have and thank you so much for watching have a great day